a barbecue hero with delicious, ultra-low net-carb hero bread, buns, and tortillas. Soft and fluffy, high in fiber, and with zero grams of sugar, up to 10 grams of protein, coming in at under 100 calories per serving. Oh, and did I mention they taste like their mouth-watering traditional versions? I mean, what's not to love? Use code AH10 for 10% off your first Hero Bread purchase at Hero.co. That's AH10 for 10% off at Hero.co. This is Make It Plain. Make It Plain. M.I.P. With Masamela Matsumo. Mark Thompson. Make It Plain. Get woke. We're here now, folks, with the House Majority Whip, Congressman James Clyburn, and our dear friend. My brother, how are you today? This is an historic day once again. It is an historic day, but you know, um, uh, this president has spent a lot of time uh, talking about things that have never been done before and how he's factored into them. Uh, I suspect that what the House just did today is uh, allow him uh, to be a part of something that's never been done before. And that is uh, the second impeachment uh, of a single president. So that gives him an aspect that he ought to be proud of because it's never been done before. How many, how many Republicans ended up crossing over um, Majority with Clyburn, do we know yet? Yes, well, uh, 10 Republicans have voted for impeachment. There are four Republicans who have not yet voted as we speak. 221 Democrats have voted uh, for impeachment. There's one that has not voted yet. Uh, and the vote is still open. Uh, so I suspect that uh, those other five people will vote. Uh, and I don't know how the four will go, but I feel certain that that one Democrat will vote yes. And so what happens in the process? Like we saw before, you voted goes to the Senate. Will there be a Senate trial immediately? I don't know. We just heard today from Mr. McConnell that he's not going to designate any kind of an emergency, uh, which means he won't take it up, as he says, until the 19th. Of course, after the 19th, uh, he's not going to be in charge. Uh, so the last day that he will be in charge will be the Uh, be on the 19th. I had hoped that the other uh, Democrats would be sworn in by then, but he would still be in charge because we can't get to the plus one until Kamala Harris becomes vice president. Uh, Mm -hmm. So he's really in charge until that, to the afternoon. And so can a trial happen even after, because he signals today some, uh, he signals something about, um, waiting until after Biden is inaugurated. Can a trial still happen after a president has left office? My understanding from all the experts that I've talked to on this, uh, and some who were not experts, that it can take place once the impeachment is an in, indictment. So that's, uh, so we've done that. And then uh, the trial can take place anytime the Senate care to do so, uh, I'm told. But you know, there are other avenues resting there in the 14th Amendment that a lot of people are just beginning to talk about. So we'll see. And, and I know you um, you all voted a resolution in support of the invocation of the 25th Amendment as well, right. correct? That's correct. Uh, and that is triggered by the actions of the vice president. So what we did on yesterday, we voted uh, to ask the vice president uh, to use his authority under the 25th Amendment and convene uh, whatever remains uh, of the cabinet uh, in, in order to uh, invoke the, 20, the 25th Amendment. Uh, he sent us a letter on yesterday, or sent it to Nancy Pelosi, indicating that he was not going to do that. So, so it, 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 and that was, I know that was the offer made in lieu of impeachment, but but he, what do you, what do you think changed his mind? I mean, he was one of the people that was almost, he was targeted, he was almost held hostage in the Capitol himself. That's true. And the chanting that took place indicated that uh, they wanted to hang him. Uh, so that is kind of interesting for him 
uh, not to want to do it. Uh, but uh, as you know, um, for some reason, uh, this president has some unusual powers uh, over the Republicans. He most he most certainly does. So so back to the Senate Majority Whip. If 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 it goes to the Senate after he leaves office, then it won't be a vote for removal, but rather a vote to convict. Correct. Well, yes, I think you have to take a separate vote after the vote to uh, to convict. I think you then have to take another vote as to whether or not you will vote to uh, for him not to to be out of office and not serve anymore. And and what what why is it why now in your words is it so important to do this a, a, a second time? This has never happened before. You know, you you are a teacher of history. I'm a student of history. This is a big deal. For someone to be impeached twice has never happened before. If he's convicted, correct, he can never uh, seek office again. He will also lose some of the aspects of his presidential pension, too. Is that accurate? I'm not sure about the pension, but I know about the office. Though I do believe that I'm right about this when I said there has to be a separate vote uh, on that office business. Uh, I'm not positive uh, as to what is the case with, with the pensions, though I'm told uh, that that may be the case. Now, you know, I, I guess I intended to take a look at what really happened with Richard Nixon, uh, and I'm not too sure, but I think Richard Nixon has maintained some uh, ex-president uh, privileges, uh, though I don't know what happened with his pension. Well, and, and, but I, I, it's my understanding that the only reason Nixon held on to some of those privileges was because he resigned. Um, that that was kind of the, the incentive, you know. They say right. well, you resign, and then you can maintain it. Uh, um, uh, majority Whip, tell us about your experience. We've heard a little bit about people finding your uh, your office, which is not on a Capitol tour. That's you know, the Majority Whip's office is not some place that you just run into. Right. But talk to us about your experience on that day last Wednesday and, and where you were and, and what you were dealing with. If you were. Well, uh, as you know, uh, 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 Reverend Mark, uh, my, there is an office of mine that is on the tour. In fact, that office is there. It opens onto Statuary Hall. Anybody walking through Statuary Hall, which so many of these people did. The office is right there. My name is on the door and my title is above the door. Uh, sitting right there under uh, Abraham Lincoln's name because that office is called the Lincoln Room. They did not bother that office. But for some strange reason, they found their way to my office that's on a different floor and, and without any markings on the door. So what are they doing? My staff was huddled into my inner office with furniture at the door and people rapping on the door trying to come in. Uh, so that tells me uh, there's something untoward is the word that I've been using. Uh, something untoward was taking place here. And we are beginning to hear that there may have been a member uh, video and stuff uh, out to some of these people that this same member was seen the night before uh, walking some of these uh, insurrectionists around the building and through the tunnels. Now, there's something untoward going here. We're electing pe people to office in this country who are uh, infiltrators uh, of our democracy rather than uh, true representatives of their communities. Do, do we have a name for that member yet or members? Have any been identified as of yet? Oh yes. oh, yes. The authorities have identified the member and... Um, uh, I've been told the name, but um, uh, I don't care to share it. Oh, oh okay. But so, so what? What will happen though? Um, what will happen if if the um, to those members will they be a, a, a brought to justice? Will they be arrested? Will they be uh, expelled? What would be the plan? I don't know, uh, but that is the. Uh, a topic of a lot of discussions uh, taking place uh, as to a lot of the speech making that was done on the floor, off the floor, people at the rally before 
the big Margie on the uh, on the Capitol. You know, we just impeached the president for what he said, uh, and um, and how people reacted to it. Now there are one or two members that said some things, and people have reacted to those things. So it may be after a thorough investigation, uh, we may not have heard the last of these as yet. I'm told by the FBI and others uh, that there are a lot of people uh, who are going to get visits from them over the next several days. Uh, and anybody that was here uh, ransacking this place, uh, they're going to find themselves visited by some authorities. And I don't think it's a visit that they're going to welcome. I've also heard, and I know, know this has been in the public arena, uh, that it's uh, uh, one of these people, at least one of these people, has said that they, they were um, they received information uh, from a member. Mm. Uh, um, that's yeah, that's scary. Um, did you ever have a conversation with either of the sergeant at arms or the Capitol Police? yourself was there any did you were you involved in any conversations around preparation for what happened last wednesday no i was not i did talk with maxine waters who had been in thorough extensive uh, conversations on these matters uh i tend not to uh to get too involved in those things i stay out of as many uh what i call uh secure uh, discussions as I possibly can. As you know, though I never uh, ascended to the ministry, I grew up in a hospital. <laughs> and, and I tend sometimes to get a little preachy. And I don't want to say something that uh, someone would think I got out of the meeting. So a lot of those meetings I stay out of uh, just in case I say something that's prescient. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, um, and, and being it, being the way you are, were you, you know, uh, uh, the speaker talked about her experience on 60 Minutes. Were you, did you ever, you and your staff, were you all in any moments experiencing fear last Wednesday? Oh, yeah. I was with the speaker the entire time that we were uh, at this undisclosed uh, secure location. Uh, the two of us arrived there at the same time. And I spent uh, that entire time with the speaker. Uh, so we had a lot of discussions. We were on the phone with uh, uh, a lot of people trying to make sure that uh, we hold things together. And she did a remarkable job. Now, I heard what she said. Uh, I didn't see that fear in her. All of us uh, had some anxieties uh, about it. But she was masterful uh, in managing that and was really, what I would say, uh, pretty resilient in um, keeping everybody together. Um, Majority Whip, I know you've got to go. Last question. So what happens now? The impeachment vote being finalized. I know last time we all learned a new word because we didn't get this far with Nixon. We learned the term engrossment. Uh, will there be an engrossment ceremony immediately? Will those? Will that article of impeachment head right over to yes. the Senate? Yes. There should be one within the hour. Okay. And, and I plan to attend. All right. Um, the House Majority Whip James Clyburn, always available to chat with us in our audience. We do appreciate that, sir. God Thank bless you. you. Uh, uh, best of New Year. I pray you had a, a, a safe and blessed holiday season and best of New Year, even under the circumstances. Uh, I appreciate it. Yeah, but, but you know, he is also, as we all know, a student of Civil War history. We talk about that a lot. So um, here we are talking about an insurrection. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> And, and, yeah, but thanks for bringing it up. That's why I mentioned the 14th Amendment, uh, because the 13th, 14th, 15th Amendments, I just said on Fox News, I associate those three amendments uh, with the whole uh, slavery and its aftermath. As you know, the 13th Amendment uh, freed uh, slaves, and uh, of course, the 15th Amendment uh, gave us the right to vote. But the 14th Amendment has to do with equal protection of the law. And there's a little thing in the 14th Amendment that deals with whether or not someone can be rendered ineligible to ever hold office again. So I would not be uh, surprised to see a 14th Amendment uh, remedy applied to Donald Trump at some time uh, in the not too distant future. You know, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask, are, are you all, do you feel uh, as if uh, law enforcement, all the authorities 
have done all that they can in preparation for the inauguration itself. I mean, these people are talking about coming back. W yeah, where are you uh, on that? It's a different place today uh, than it was uh, last week uh, this time. Uh, we have, uh, in fact, I had to go a security route to get to my office this morning because the traffic was so backed up. Uh, so they've got checkpoints uh, out here they didn't have before. And I'm assuming uh, that we'll have uh, air cover. Uh, helicopters will be around this place, uh, making sure that Joe Biden's uh, inauguration goes uh, uneventful. So I, I, I feel relatively certain that we're going to be fine uh, uh, next next Wednesday. Um, majority with James Clyburn. We thank you, sir. As always, we appreciate you. Okay. Thank you so much for having me. All right. Take care now. Okay, buddy. All right. Bye bye. Uh, that's the uh, that's the majority with uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, James Clyburn. Thanks for getting woke and listening to Make It Plain. Please remember to listen, like, subscribe, and wherever you get your podcasts, please give the show a five star rating. And please do spread the word. Let's all continue to pray for each other during this pandemic and this police demic. If all hearts and minds are clear, it has been made plain. Introducing Allbirds' new Wool Runner 2, redesigned to redefine comfort. Extra cushioning offers a plush ride, and premium materials deliver a cozy fit. Go to allbirds.com and use code FRESH24 for a free pair of socks with purchase today. Nice buns. Soft, fluffy, and ultra-low net carbs. Discover Hero Bread, the delicious ultra-low net carb bread with incredible taste and texture. Hero Bread has zero grams of sugar and is under 100 calories per serving. Plus, high in fiber with 5 to 10 grams of protein per serving. Available on Amazon.com, Walmart.com, and at Hero.co. That's H-E-R-O dot C-O. Delicious, ultra-low net carb Hero Bread buns and tortillas. Soft and fluffy, high in fiber, and with zero grams of sugar, up to 10 grams of protein, coming in at under 100 calories. Order today at Hero.co and use the code AH10 to get 10% off your first purchase. That's AH10 at Hero.co, H-E-R-O dot C-O. Order from Hero.co now and get 10% off your first purchase with promo code AH10. That's 10% off with code AH10, H-E-R-O dot C-O.